a break so that means that the yeast is ready and it's perfectly melted and then trust me it really works welcome to the best pizza channel Hello guys uh, from Maestro Tio Copelli, welcome back uh, to my channel. For the people that are new in this channel, here we f you find everything about pizza. Everything, A to Z. So welcome. And then if you're not a subscriber and you love pizza, please consider it to subscribe down here below somewhere. And then uh, thank you so much uh, uh, for taking the time and uh, look and uh, watching this video. Today is uh, something very special. In the store, in the USA especially, it's very hard to find uh, uh, fresh yeast. And then uh, everybody is using uh, basically dry yeast. This is the uh, dry yeast. Most of the Italian recipes are made with uh, fresh yeast. So today this video is about uh, how to make fresh yeast from dry yeast. Because, yes, it's possible to make uh, fresh yeast at home from dry yeast. It's possible. And also, in this video, you are going to learn how to uh, never finish the yeast. So, from 5 grams, you can make uh, 100 grams. And then uh, you go from there. Uh, today, here, we are focused to make the fresh yeast. It's very simple uh, to do. And then uh, I hope that you're going to like this video and I hope you can leave a like and a comment but most of all share this video this way you help me to reach these millions of subscribers so let's get into this video and right away I'm gonna tell you what we need so we need a spatula like a rubber spatula a basically a container nice and clean everything needs to be really clean because the yeast is alive and then uh, we don't want any bacteria on uh, anything, anywhere. So, that's it. That's what we need. A container, a spatula, and uh, your hands, and your passion. Let's get into what you need exactly. Write it down because it, it needs to be uh, exactly on the grams. Let's start uh, the process, the secret, because uh, here in this channel, is no secret here you're going to learn everything so if you love the pizza go ahead and subscribe let's see the ingredients that we need for this amazing tutorial so simply the first ingredient is of course the dry yeast you need five grams of dry yeast 30 grams of room temperature water the water that you drink and, and simply 60 grams of zero zero flour yes zero zero because it's the most weak flour and that's what we need to make uh, multiply the, the yeast so the first thing to do here is uh, to put the, the water in a cup of course it needs to be really clean then get the dry yeast and dump it in the water simply like this now let's melt the uh, yeast so the yeast that needs to be really melted just like that I like to use the, the water, the, the spatula because uh, it, is no, it doesn't have any uh, temperature uh, difference there we go and it's perfectly melted there we go like you can see it's it's melted perfect now let's go ahead and let's dump the the flour just like that now let's go ahead and let's make like a, a dough, like the dough. Try to put the most that you can inside the, the cup. Then we're gonna start to work same thing like the dough. Perfect, now uh, the water is all integrated in the flour. Let's go ahead and let's dump the, the mix the mixing, everything here on the counter. Let 
you need to take everything out to make sure. Very important that everything needs to be really clean. Again, I, I repeat this because it's very important. There we go, we take everything. Now let's go ahead and let's start to work the dough. Let's start to, to make the actual dough, just like that. Help yourself with your finger. And uh, probably you're gonna think that it's uh, too much flour, but that's the correct amount. I've been testing this for years and then trust me it really works because uh, to be honest fresh yeast it's much better than dry yeast when you make the dough and this is how you make the fresh yeast from dry yeast basically we transform the the yeast you need to take everything from the counter so Usually this process, usually this process it takes about 10 minutes or so. Like you can see now, it's already starting to uh, look the color of the fresh yeast. Basically it looks like the fresh yeast already. But we need to take it, to mix it up a little bit more. That's how you mix it. So basically press. Press your finger, just like that, this way you integrate everything. Make sure to follow the video until the end because uh, it's very important all the steps. I'm here to help you, I'm here to uh, to tell you all the secrets about the pizza and the process of making pizzas. Perfect. Also, I created a masterclass pizza, so I will uh, link it below just to check it out. If you want to check it out, it's a, it's a professional uh, video course uh, already made, uh, very, very professional. That's the way you can learn how to make the pizzas, how to open a pizza place, all these things like this. So I suggest to you, if you, you want to go in the level up, go ahead and check it out. Perfect. Do you see? We are about to be done. This was a live time. Perfect. You'll see, you'll notice that the yeast will be ready when you take it and you try to pull it and then it will break. See? It breaks, so that means that the yeast is ready. So let's make a, basically a, a little ball. This, this is the consistency of the, 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 the yeast. See? That's it. Our yeast is now ready. So pay attention to the step now because uh, I'm going to tell you <coughs> what to do. Perfect. So this is the yeast. Like you, you can see, uh, it's ready to uh, the next step. But before that, I want to explain you something. You have to use this yeast as a regular fresh yeast. So if you are going, if you put five grams of a fresh yeast, you take five grams from this and you use it for your dough. This is your yeast, basically. Remember to melt it with the water. For that, follow my other videos. Okay, now we need a container just like that, the same size of your yeast if you can. If it's not, it's okay. Uh, try to find something closer. So that's what we do. Pump. You put it in and very, very important is to press it a little bit, press it down, this way we don't have uh, any air, there we go, and now let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and uh, make sure to try to not have any air to the crust, uh, to the, to the crust. Yeah. It's very important that it doesn't get the air, otherwise it's gonna become a dough, basically. So we wanna uh, keep it uh, east, so with no air, it cannot, it doesn't have, it doesn't activate the fermentation. There we go. 
So now that's your fresh yeast from dry yeast. It's perfect for your home, it's perfect for your business, it's perfect to make the dough with the fresh yeast. Uh, of course now it's not, it, doesn't, it didn't become a yeast. So what we do is we put it in the fridge right away. So I'm gonna put it in the fridge, one second. And uh, here we go. So I put the, fr I put the, uh, the fresh yeast, because now we can call it fresh yeast, in the fridge. And uh, uh, after 24 hours in the fridge, that becomes your fresh, your new fresh yeast. And uh, it's good for seven days in the fridge, just not touching. But uh, remember, after three days, you can go ahead and put it in the freeze and you can freeze it. And then it's good until maybe three, four months, I don't know, maybe more. And uh, really important then uh, to put it in the fridge. If you don't put it in the fridge, it's good until seven days, but sometimes even more and more and more if you're going to uh, refresh it, basically. But remember, the most important thing is that it needs to be everything clean and no air inside the uh, container where you're going to put the, the fresh yeast. Hey, please comment below if you want to see the second part, if you want to see the dough made with this uh, uh, fresh yeast. And then uh, in my social media on Instagram or uh, uh, in the community on YouTube, I will leave a picture after 24 hours how it will look. Thank you so much for taking the time and look and watching this video. Please now thumbs up. Remember to comment below if you want to see the second part, the dough made with this uh, freshies that we just made. Thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you so much for Maestro Di Copelli. I'll see you at the next one. Every two week, every week, two videos. Ciao ciao.